when I started to work with uh, this kind of stuff, it wa was in the late 90 90s, and it was quite a, uh, yeah, a, a very intense DIY. I was yeah involved in a in a DIY uh, scene here where a lot of people tried out crazy things and most of them musicians and i wanted to just to try out how work with this on a on a visual on a, on a video part so in the beginning it was just fun just fun and then it got more serious uh, relationship between me and the machine so yeah I mean, in the beginning, it was more like uh, asking questions, like in in the way of connecting uh, cables differently, open up the machines, and yeah, see what comes out. And and but the more or the longer I worked with it, of course, there's a lot of interplay with, between control, control, controlling the machines and letting them loose. So it's always about uh, yeah, I, I like this, like leaving it and uh, let them lead, uh, guide me to another new option and then play around with it and see how I can reproduce it. And, and yeah, so it, it's an interplay of uh, improvisation and control and yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a quite a tactile person. I mean, long time ago, I was even a, a kind of in a in a performance dance group, and I was working a lot with the body. So I also like the body of the machines, like the knobs and the, how they feel, and yeah, that, that's that's the main thing. It's the main thing is for me that I always my uh, like if if I getting idea about the next work. And about the work for the cinema, I'm always I'm always uh, thinking of the body of the uh, spectators themselves. They are connecting to what they see, and also the whole cinema room. So through through the PA and the big screen and the people who watch the film, it all gets one. So yeah, that's how the embodiment of sound and video works for me. Like yeah. Uh, through all these <laughs> steps. I know a lot in advance which direction I want to go, for example, which kind of sound quality I want to have or which atmosphere, but I'm also very much, uh, uh, I, I give myself a lot of freedom during the working process because it's part of working on it. Like, yeah, that you can change. It's necessary, for example, direction. In the beginning, there was, when I started to experiment, very soon there came this feedback aspect into it because I wanted to use the image as sound and sound and as image. So I just dived into this matter of, and, and then, in the very uh, early state, I was invited by uh, for a tour in in Great Britain, which was focused only on feedback, which included really great musicians, and I was the video artist there. So somehow it, I got, yeah, it it, uh, it was a very important working process for me. This feedback thing.